Hey, good morning, guys. This is Celia, aka For Real Seller, what 90 Days Can Do, and the MLS Bitcoin Club. Oh, God, it's rainy today. It's supposed to be a very stormy day, so pay attention to your surroundings. Watch out for tree branches and limbs because they do tend to blow out of trees, and you can get hit or struck by a fallen limb and think that, okay, you know, it might seem small while it's up in the air, but when it is coming down and hitting somebody or striking somebody in the head, it could hurt. And it could also be fatal. So just stay aware of your surroundings. I hear it's gonna be very breezy. It's gonna be a lot of lightning, maybe some hail, and maybe even a tornado. And guess what? So far this season, you know we've had three tornadoes touch down in New Jersey. It's been a very um, climactic, volatile, season and it's strange but it's, it's already written it's predetermined that these kind of things and events would take place because you know that um, northern New Jersey in particular and New, New York has the least bad weather I mean we're in a really really great state right um, but storms severe storms and things are getting more and more dangerous and it's very rare that we get tornadoes in our region because we're not a flat place and we have a lot of buildings so we don't have a lot of open space we do have a lot of water bodies that carry funnels and stuff like that but when it comes to making landfall we have a lot of structure a lot of trees a lot of buildings and things that get in the way of tornadoes so for us to get them this often in one season here in New Jersey is something to just pay attention to. I think that um, everybody should be paying attention to their surroundings, paying attention to their climate, their own things going on in their world. So I'm talking about surroundings. I'm talking about how the weather of your affairs may affect your life even though we are talking real weather right now we're also talking just staying aware to trends staying aware to what's going on around you because it could hurt or help you in this environment we have the internet we have social media and as you know social media could be um, very scary it could be dangerous you know people always hacking and trying to do things and getting into people's stuff <coughs> it is, I've been getting this um, message in my Facebook and I don't think it's a real link I think it's somebody trying to get your Facebook password because this is the thing I'm getting sent um, a, just a message a message from people like wow this is you in this video wow you know and they'll have my my either my Facebook picture and it'll be a link for YouTube, but then they ask for your password and username. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, everybody's curious. They want to see what video. Because, yeah, I make several videos. I don't make anything that would be um, in poor taste, let's say. And I'm not making any nudies or flashing anybody or doing anything crazy. So, I'm just like, wow, I want to know what video, right? So, I go to look and of course it's asking for your username password all that stuff i'm like you know what this is some bull back out of it it ain't real and you know what i keep it moving i know what i post and the people who are following me which is very limited by the way know what i post and i talk about weather i talk about my kids i talk about financial literacy i talk about wealth building i talk about bitcoin i talk about work i talk about you know my opinion about work and ethics and things like that and I don't um, I don't say anything that I'm not supposed to say or anything inappropriate so I'm you know I'm fully safe with myself and anybody who knows me by now also knows the same right and I also talk about God my my faith my beliefs um, so there with that being said today again I wouldn't talk about the climate weather all right whether or not you choose to act on an 
off or act on an impulse. Um, whether or not you choose to be responsive when it comes to grasping hold of an opportunity. You know, people who procrastinate and it holds you back from from destiny sometimes, honestly. There are so many times that opportunities pass people and when you don't acknowledge them or if you procrastinate too often, you know, it, it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity in some instances. So I just urge people to really pay attention to their climate. Pay attention to what what desires, what drives you and what makes you want things things that you think about most because you attract things you think about most if you want wealth if you want houses if you want land if you want a lot of money in the bank if you want a business if you want wealthy friends if you want vacation properties if you want to go on vacation or love to travel those things that you think about most will come to you because it's the power of attraction okay because we know money attracts money and power attracts power and we all have our own auras that we create so when we're um, focused on certain things and opportunities come our way let's be in tune to those opportunities and take advantage of them because again they could be once in a lifetime Procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastination is a thief of time and your wealth, and um, it can make or break you, honestly. Um, I'm reading a good book right now, it's reverse wholesaling, and um, I'm finding it interesting, and it, it really kind of ticks me off because this is something that I, that I was told a long time ago by one of my coaches in Fortune Business Mastery and this has been almost I would say almost a year now, right? I would say maybe like eight months or so, right? I speak to a coach and she told me, you know, start finding buyers. Call people who are buying properties. Find a buyer's list. Build a buyer's list. So I started calling all kinds of people. I was calling landlords, I was calling owners, I was calling other real estate investors. And I started down my list and I was asking questions. Some people would call me back, some people wouldn't call me back. And that's cool. But I was talking to this one guy and he put me on a web page. He put me on bigger pockets. He also told me about um, another guy in the wholesale and flipping and I, I can't remember the name because I really didn't stay following him because I wasn't feeling everything that he was talking about. But I listened to this guy. He gave me a lot of great information. But the one thing that he did do that was possibly detrimental because he gave me such good information, I listened to what he was saying. And he told me this. He said, as long as the numbers work, and you find a deal that is a good deal, you'll find a buyer, all right? And to an extent, I believe that, but I have to know the climate. I have to know the weather. I have to be aware of everything. That's a lot of freaking work. And I'm saying this to say, in order to analyze a property, you have to one walk the property. You have to know how to put together a scope of work and determine what what the um, what the maximum offer for the property should be. You have to be able to um, negotiate negotiate that deal with the seller, the current seller. Then you have to draw up your contract. You have to do a sign to. You have to sit down with the seller agent if they have one and you know make sure that during contingency you start bringing in people that you think would want to buy that property um that could be problematic there are several reasons why a, a traditional wholesale could go wrong and that could be one 
you might find a buyer, an investor who is very um, money hungry. You might find one that says, oh damn, you're going to make $25,000 on this deal? Oh, hell no, I'm not closing. Or you have to do a double close, which would mean that there's more, more money out your pocket. Um, another thing with uh, traditional wholesaling is your earnest money that you put down, you could expect to lose that if for any reason the deal goes sour because for ethical purposes, and of course in a contingency, you can write any kind of reason why you, your earnest money should come back to you. But ethically, you already know that you have the mindset. In a lot of cases where people are wholesaling their homes because they have an urgency, they want to get out of their situation and they need help. So for to give hope to a seller who's trying to really sell their home and maybe letting it go for a lot less than the value of the home is and you you um, arrange that and then it falls through and you can't close on the property for any reason, I would say give that person that money because it's, it's harmful and it's impactful when something like that occurs. And if you have any kind of ethic behind you, um, or compassion for people you would do that so those are some of the reasons why I say if you're going to do a traditional wholesaling that you know it's a lot to look out for now in this book I'm reading I'm, I'm learning again the trait of building their buyers list and and building a rapport with the buyers because of course buyers are investors and they want to do it in multiplicity and they want to be a repeat customer but they also want quality deals so again if you know what a person wants you can target exactly that and wait and not waste time trying to find other things that you think are a good deal other things that you feel would be suitable other things that you think are going to do well and be marketable so it takes out a lot of the guesswork now could somebody a buyer give you a shopping list of things that they may want in particular and change their mind at any given moment yes but the thing about most um, investors is they have the same kind of mindset and their train of thought or thinking may be hey I want this in this location I want this type of house I want this type of land I want this type of school I want this I want that I want that and maybe they might have too many jobs under their belt at one time when you approach them to sell them a house that you um, acquired okay well once you acquire this property if you have a rapport with multiple investors it's more likely that being that this was handpicked and um, given to you by an investor that that particular investor may have somebody of like mind that they know that is willing to take the property off your hands and do so at you know a good profit to you so those are just things that i'm thinking about where i could have paid more attention to climate and listened to the coach because again that's why they're coaches because they know and i was taking some advice from another investor who of course would tell me hey as long as the deal works you know and the numbers work you'll find a seller don't worry about that building the buyers list is not a really strong point and i have to say i beg to differ it can go both ways and um again wholesaling uh people say it's very easy it's not as easy as it looks um, um there is a lot of work required in it your time is limited or your resources are limited if you don't have money you know I pay lots of money for software and databases and I'm not on the MLS and I got to tell you um, the very useful tools that I have and the um, things that I've learned and I utilize to know where to look for properties and how to search for people and information is is very powerful but it all means nothing unless you know what to do with it so with that being said just just pay attention to the climate look at the weather um, get involved with group meetups and i already said that networking is key as i really can't wait for this event um, 
my god next weekend i'm so excited about this event because i'm going to meet some very very valuable people i'm gonna give out hella business cards and if my business cards run out on my second day there i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wear my my t-shirt with my scanner name on it and i know i want to be a business professional but i also want to be smart so in the event that my business cards run out and i meet somebody that just has to have my card hopefully they have a scanner on their phone and they'll be able to scan my t-shirt and they will have my electronic business card which changes when i change anything um so that's the deal with that and i just look forward to all these wonderful people with all this education and you know learning some new things meeting new people new investors new um, private money lenders new hard money lenders um, new people in general just to network and build a relationship with hopefully a working relationship that will last for many years to come and if nothing else gain a wealth of information because i'm a note taker i listen um constructively and i ask a lot of questions and i know in these type of environments you don't get to ask too many questions but once you um, have a person and you have their ear or you have their email what i found out about um, most people in the real estate sector as far as investing they are willing to help other people and that's the beautiful thing at least the people that i have i have built a relationship with that i have met so far that i have um, encountered and you know we are like in fortune builders we have a family it's a family of investors and the from the newest members up to the oldest members with the most clout and the most to offer um, as far as knowledge and experience, they're all very giving of their, their information. They share tools and traits and they give honest opinions and I prefer honest opinion any day over some bullshit. So I like the fact that um, I could rely on a lot of information given to me from my up team and um, just members of this community and I find that most people that you meet who have any kind of work ethic or even a, a people person will impart to you pearls of wisdom if you're willing to listen. If you have a close concept mind or if you're not paying attention to the weather and your antennae aren't out there and you have this like shut off uh, blankness, like you're just not open to hearing nothing new or learning anything, then people just won't talk to you. And that's what I find. But uh, hey, look, I love the fact that I'm in this in this era i love the fact that i'm in this field i love the fact that i'm meeting people who can put me in a better position in life going forward and i'm talking about like for years and years to come like really years to come like i see nothing but great things happening like really come on Okay, good copy saying go. Say go, go. Thank you. Yep, so I'm just like, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Every day I wake up excited about something. Shoot, I was real excited today. I could see and I could talk because, like I said yesterday, and, and some people may or may not believe me, but I got soapy car wash broom water thrown in my face and in my mouth and in my eye. Yeah, that was my bad. It was like, I wrote them on to tell the attendant something and at the same time, he was already grabbing that broom and they do it so often that they're once with motion, it was like shoo, shoo, shoo. And as soon as I opened the window, it was like whoosh, all in my face. So yeah, that was really, 
an experience. I never realized how much water can be held on that broom, boy. And I tell you, I was, I was all wet up and I had the soap in my eyes. It was burning. It was crazy. It was, that was something. So I learned something yesterday. Don't open your window when you want to say something, even if you think that they're not getting ready to throw water towards your car because they're very fast and it can happen in the blink of an eye and it's their fluid motion because they have repetitive motion and that's another thing to learn once you do things over and over again it becomes second nature and without effort so things happen very fast you do things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again it becomes habit repetition becomes habit habit becomes fluid motion fluid motion becomes art and you all know if you have any concept of martial arts of kung fu which i am a huge fan of in practice um, you will know that and i slept on that so that's my bad and i got what i got but god is great because i was able to wash my eye out and handle it and God prevented me from getting any cooties that affected me or at least so far that I could tell um, you know negatively so thank God for that and I just want to say you know keep doing whatever it is that makes you feel good about you if you are an entrepreneur go for your dreams don't ever give up keep trying pursue your happiness um, Watch the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. That was a really powerful, powerful production. I mean, that is a real story, a real story. It's based on a true story and um, very impactful. You just have to know the um, drive of the human nature, the amount of shit that we can take and go through is amazing. We are built we are built <clears throat> you know to go through a lot of stuff god has made us very resilient in more than one way and i mean that mentally you know physically spiritually people go through all types of different hardships and you never know where a person is at in their life but one thing i do know is if you want something and you pursue it there is almost a hundred percent certainty that you'll get what you're going after, all right? And I say almost a hundred percent because again, you know, faith without works is dead. They say faith with faith without deeds is dead. That means you can know everything that you need to know about something but until you act on it or actually do the work that's necessary in order for it to work it will it won't happen right so um tony robbins said knowledge is power when it is utilized so if you never use what you learn then it's useless you know you don't want to be in that space where you know everything and don't apply anything you know Applied learning is very powerful. Applied methods and proven techniques and methods are very powerful. So again, don't give up. Shoot for the moon and if you miss, you'll always land amongst the stars. And that is from my boy Les Brown. I mean, you gotta listen to speakers who motivate you. You gotta speak like you believe in what you believe in. You gotta have um, a positive mindset and be open to new concepts and at least hear out the thoughts of others because if you don't agree with 100% of what somebody says, you might agree with that 4% or that 3% that may be just the secret sauce that um, completes your recipe, you know? You gotta take time to listen, take time to read, take time to learn something every day. I don't care how old you are. You don't want that arrival syndrome. You don't want that arrival syndrome in your life because that's when you stop learning. That's when you stop growing. 
I want to learn every day. Anything that I can learn, I will try to learn. Especially when driving around these fools out here, I learn how to, you know, just stay receptive, stay open, stay focused. You know, it's a lot going on around us every day. And, you know, being, being receptive, being alert, open, being honest, being caring, and just being true to yourself, having a vision and sticking to it, very key, don't let anything deter you from getting where you want to be in life, don't let anyone determine your fate or your destiny, stay prayerful and believe in God in all things, you know, you know he is able to see you through and with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go because i am still driving really shouldn't be videoing but again like i said i'm, I'm, I'm in tune and today i'm in tune yesterday i was a little off my game obviously because i got water in my face so it can happen to you too so don't laugh have a great day guys bye bye